Well, let's continue talking about the post office scandal. By uh, We're joined now by Alexander Stafford, who's Conservative MP for Rother Valley. Good afternoon to you, Alexander. First of all, your reaction this afternoon to Paula Venels returning her CBE for services to the post office. Well, good afternoon. And it's incredibly right that she handed back a CBE. I mean, this the CBE clearly brings the whole honours uh, situation disrepute. It's, it's would unfathomable that she could keep her CBE after the absolute scandalous thing that she presided over. And it's right that she handed it back. Is it right that it took this amount of time? Do you think it was partly uh, the ITV documentary, partly that petition of over 1.2 million people signing uh, to demand this? Or, or, or indeed, was it some political pressure from the Prime Minister yesterday that fed into this? Well, clearly, if she had, had had a shred of decency, she should have handed this back, the CBE, back years ago. I mean, people have known about this scandal for, for, for years, for decades. When I first got elected to Parliament, one of the first things I did in March 2020 was sit on the Bates Select Committee looking at uh, interviewing Mr Bates about the Horizon scandal, what's going on. I raised it in 2021, and lots of other colleagues did as well. And it's good the Prime Minister put pressure on her to hand back a CBE, but she should have done it years ago, frankly, if she had a shred of decency. But now it seems like she's just doing a little bit too late to try and take the blame away from her, where she presided over literally probably the worst scandal for the post office in its entire 400-year history. Talking about should have done things years ago, a lot of people will be utterly astonished that it has taken this ITV four-part docudrama for the government to actually put its finger out on this situation and look at overturning uh, these convictions and now we're hearing people saying, well, actually, it can be done incredibly quickly. Well, if it can be done that quickly, why wasn't it done years ago? Well, the, the, the law has been changing. I said I, I raised this in the chamber in 2021 where the law changed to try and protect the postmasters and postmistresses. The government has been doing things over the years. But I've got to remember, this scandal is going back since 1997, this dodgy system. The government is pulling its finger out, is getting it going. But it's great that the ITV documentary has actually brought the shot of spotlight onto this into the wider public consciousness. This is something myself and many colleagues have been talking about in the chamber for absolutely years. But it's great now the public are fully aware of this and actually putting pressure on uh, Fujitsu on the post office to actually try and bring back what is right to the post, the post master, post mistress, which the post office has stolen from them. Yes, it is true that, of course, many members of parliament had been raising this, but perhaps it wasn't as high up the government's uh, uh, priority list uh, as it subsequently became, uh, perhaps due to the publicity of this docudrama. Um